I'm going to review a set of Bluetooth headphones made by a company that most of you have probably never heard of, and that is Rebo, R-I-B-O. Now, I get contacted from time to time by people who want me to review some things on my YouTube channel, and a lot of times I turn them down, especially if they look kind of cheesy or if they don't really apply to cycling or you know good quality headphones and things like that. Um, this one I decided to try because I love mountain biking with headphones. Um, when I'm out doing my tr intervals and things like that, um, having some really you know bass kind of music or techno or you know whatever um, really helps me uh, in my training, helps me get motivated to ride hard. So uh, I decided to try these, and these are very very similar. If you're familiar with them, the the Jaybird sport blue buds x even on the rebo website uh, the photo that they have it's kind of they're positioned like i've seen these positioned in some ads so they've obviously designed these as kind of i don't want to say a knockoff but uh okay i'll say it a knockoff of the blue buds x uh, and so if you're going to do that you're going to get compared to blue buds x and so in a lot of this video I'm going to make a comparison with the Blue Buds X, which I think you'll find pretty interesting because I've been using the Blue Buds X for, I don't know, maybe three, four, or five months now, probably longer than that. Um, and I, I, I like the Blue Buds uh, now that I use Comply Foam tips. Uh, before that, I couldn't get them to stay in my ears. With the Comply Foam, they're awesome. Uh, so let me, uh, let me go over these, some of the features and things like that. Uh, I've been using these for a couple weeks, been riding with them. Now let me first of all say that the, the Rebo headphones, uh, they make two models that you can see on their website. Um, the, the person who contacted me informed me that they're no longer going to be making the Rebo 2. Um, that is the non-waterproof one, which is the one that I'm holding. Um, the other one has a coating and protection to make it more water resistant, or they even say waterproof, uh, although I don't think I'd go swimming with them. Um, but they're very similar. He told me that the sound quality features, everything's the same. Uh, and so they, um, they retail, I think, for around $80. Uh, and so, uh, again, that's the waterproof ones. He said these, um, I think, were around $50. Um, now, while I'm talking price, uh, and that's going to be probably the deciding factor on whether you go with these or not, um, the Blue Buds X, uh, the, the new ones just came out, I think the X2, and they are... 180 bucks retail so um, this is obviously a, a much better price point uh, and I'll mention this again later but the the risk is you know it's a company that's a Chinese company uh, really don't have a presence in the United States near as strong as like the Blue Buds X so um, that's where kind of the risk will come in if you decide to go with these so when I got these um, they come in a, a pretty just plain Jane box um, not, not the, the really high quality boxes of other things uh, that I've gotten like the, um, like the Blue Buds X or um, even uh, some of the other headphones that I've reviewed by Noontech um, kind, of, kind of really high quality packaging. So, you know, you can't judge a book by its cover and you can't judge headphones by the box because when I saw these I just thought they looked kind of average, cheap kind of stuff. Um, which they they don't have quite the premium feel that the, the Blue Buds X have, um, but they uh, you're going to hear in this review that they're actually pretty good little earbud. I was actually really surprised. So let me talk about the sound quality first, and then I'll go over the features. And by the way, you do get in the box you get two different size of these kind of ear tips that go inside your ears like the Blue Buds X that hold them securely which with Bluetooth headphones you really need because uh, most Bluetooth headphones are pretty large uh, they just have to be like that uh, because of the, me the Bluetooth, me Bluetooth mechanism you, so you get another size so I've got the larger size on here which is the one I use uh, and then you get two different size silicone ear tips and that's what you get in the box also you get this really probably 25 cent little bag that they come in uh, and so this is where the uh, the price difference comes in because with the Blue Buds X you get all kind of accessories including this really cool case uh, and so um, it, you know it, that's that's 
I, I guess the savings is these are just a no frills, they, they work well, um, but you don't get a lot of accessories and things like that. Um, so sound quality, these surprised me. Um, <clears throat> the bass is actually stronger than the Blue Buds X. Uh, it's not uh, extremely tight and clean bass, uh, but it's definitely not muffled by any means. Um, and they have really good clarity. Uh, they don't have quite the just high-end sparkle, is the best way to describe these, uh, that the Blue Buds have. Um, but it's still good clarity. I, I, I was really surprised. Now, with earphones, the fit is absolutely key to making a, an earbud sound right, or an earphone, I should say. These aren't really earbuds because they go more inside your ear. Um, so to make an earphone sound good, they have to go in your ears well. And this is the funny thing to me is these that are half the price of the Blue Buds X actually fit my ears with the stock silicone tips a whole lot better than the Blue Buds X. If you've tried the Blue Buds X, there's a chance that you had a lot of frustration with those things staying in your ears. Uh, they just, they're, they're just kind of bulky. Now you'll notice that the Rebo headphones um, are longer, uh, but they're a little bit lighter. They, they, they feel lighter. The, the length, I actually like because I like putting an earphone kind of deep inside my ear uh, and these just I mean they just stay in my ears I don't have to use any comply foam tips so how funny is that that an earbud half the price of the blue buds would would fit better now I noticed with the new blue buds is they're including comply foam so they watched my video uh, because I said that I said you have to use comply foam to make those things stay in your ears so the, again these feel light like I said, they don't have that premium feel. Uh, even the, the controller doesn't have that quite premium feel. Now you'll notice this controller is bigger than the Blue Buds X, but um, you don't really notice much weight to it. It's, it's really light. It almost feels lighter than the Blue Buds X. So, um, you, know, it, it's, uh, you know, it's a headphone that doesn't, once you put them on, it, they try to kind of just disappear. You know, I, mean, I rode two hours yesterday solid with these on a trail and uh, they work fine and incidentally um, I haven't had any problems with the sweat on these um, yesterday I, I mean I probably lost two or three pounds in water weight um, that's how much I sweated and um, these things ran like a champ so um, sound quality is good again not the quite the, the the sparkle that the blue buds have but but really not that far off and a little bit stronger bass now as far as the features uh, these do not have a voice that talks to you like the Blue Buds X. So um, you have, I think they call it Jenna, is her voice in the Blue Buds X. It tells you, you know, power on, headphones connected, battery low, that kind of thing. Um, these just have a tone. It's kind of when you turn them on, there's, there's kind of an ascending tone, and then a, when you turn them off, it's a descending tone. Uh, and so, um, you know, it, it's it, again, the features aren't like you have on the Blue Buds, um, but. You know, you save a lot of money. The controls work the same as the Blue Buds, um, which is they, they give you a little instruction manual. And what I found hilarious is they don't tell you how to skip songs with these. Uh, I knew how to do it because I used the Blue Buds, and that is you just hold the volume up down. I mean, so the, the volume up button down for uh, about two seconds, and I'll skip to the next song, and you can go back to the beginning of a song or previous song by holding the volume down button for two seconds. Um, so again, the controls work just like the Blue Buds. Um, they charge, there's a little charge port right here. The Blue Buds actually charge on one of the earphones. These have a little charge port that you would just plug in the charger. Um, the, uh, now, I, I had mentioned the, the features. One thing I like about these is, let me turn these on, is they have a little blue light. And the way that you turn these on, you hold this button down for four seconds. Blue Buds X is actually two seconds and it's actually four seconds to turn off as well. The blue buds are a little bit longer. Um, but they have a little light that blinks, which I like because you know that they're on. Um, the, the blue buds, they don't have that light. Uh, they, there's a green light that comes on when you turn them on, but when they're on, you can't really tell that you're on other than looking at the, uh, the little symbol on your cell phone to know that they're connected. Um, so these have that little light, and uh, this little light also you use when you charge. It's red when you're charging them up and then it'll turn I think blue when they're fully charged um, and so and then when you turn these off you'll turn these off you hold this down for 
four seconds and you'll see the red light come on and that, that lets you know that they're going off. When you get a phone call coming in with these, you just hit the middle button to answer it and you'll get kind of a little song that plays. Uh, so that's how you know you're getting a phone call. And again, you just hit the middle button to answer the call. Now, call quality on these is not as good as the Jaybird Sport. Uh, I don't buy a pair of headphones, uh, blue but or Bluetooth headphones, to uh, really answer calls. It's kind of a secondary feature that I, I, I use it, but it's my main reason is for listening to music. So um, I've also had people tell me that the the voice on the other end, so them hearing my voice on it, is not quite as clear as the Jaybird Blue Buds X. Uh, so uh, again. You know, if you're getting a pair of Bluetooth headphones for call quality, um, these aren't the best. They, they, they do work. I mean, you know, they're not awful. Um, but I, I get kind of an ear interference noise uh, when I'm listening to a phone call. So at the end of my headphone reviews, I typically will let you know if I recommend the headphones or not. I'm not going to do that with these because I'm going to let you make that decision based on the information that I've given you. You know, it, it, it's going to depend on your budget. It's going to depend on the fact if you want to take a risk with a company that doesn't have a strong presence like Beats or, or Noon Tech or Soul Republic or you know companies like that that are um, really you know strongly established in the United States at this point. So um, I'll leave that up to you, uh, and uh, hopefully this information is helpful for you for you know finding a, a, a set of Bluetooth headphones that still work very well but aren't quite as high-end, high-quality, high-feature rich like the Blue Buds X. Thanks for watching.